okay guys here we are and like I, I said in the part one this guideline is to show you some of the, the some aspects of my account and I will show you some guidelines I use in my account uh, for, to be more efficient that that's what I'm basically sharing with you and right now let's talk about dragons and then let's compare with Boo Castle uh, in the end uh, I will talk today because you have so much uh, so much options in dragons here I already have them all because I unlocked all civilizations and get the pop pop popularity um, in every one of the civilizations to unlock all the dragons but I'm focusing on the key ones uh, I'm using and that's what I want to share I will talk to you about the black dragon very good in offensive uh, moves I will talk to you about the Kraken, it's a very good uh, dragon as well in offensive moves. And I will talk to you about the Red Dragon, it's a very cool dragon to defend your castle. It's a defensive dragon and let's talk about that next. As you can see I have my Red Dragon in level 25, I have my Kraken in level 14. I'm upgrading right now because I, I started late with it. So it's very behind, but I'm catching up the Kraken. And right now, uh, I, I I bet uh, for offensive moves the Black Dragon. It's in level 25 as well. The ideal scenario is have all dragons in level 30 because in level 30 you unlock all the five skills that each dragon have available. And as you can see, the level 30 uh, skill it's locked because it's not reached that level already. Well, guys. Uh, I will talk to you about the red dragon and the defensive purpose of this uh, dragon. If you go to the skill, you have the Sanguinius fe Fever level 2 right now, but it starts with level 1, uh, where you can increase your troop attack in 7% when you defend the castle. Uh, the, that means if you have this dragon active in your castle, every time a castle attacks yours, uh, this buff will be uh, in your reports. 7% in troop attack in all your troops and in the sanctuary sanctuary blessing uh, you can increase your troop defense in 7% of course in the case of sanguinous fever the maximum level you can use and for that you need to upgrade your skill using dragon flames um, you can have troop attack and to 15% and sanctuary blessing with troop defense with 25% maximum I will increase your, your skill, you upgrade your skill activating all the, the dragon flames you have available uh, in that moment and then you upgrade and when you reach the requirement in this, guy, in this case 1000 you will uh, upgrade to the next level uh, I will do a topic about dragons and the, the efficiency of their upgrading skills in another video right now it's just an overlook of my castle we have the circle of life level 5 you can increase your hospital capacity in a maximum of 95,000 um, uh, troops in hospital capacity right now it's on 70,000 and the the last skill I'm right now changing because it's in on troop load I will change the troop load to another dragon and focusing this one in uh, another uh, defensive um, skills in this case I will change when I have available I will change it to the um, to the uh, sorry 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 In this case, infantry defense. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. Okay, uh, orange one. It's the. I'm not fine. Okay, dragon guardian infantry level one with infantry defense level seven. I will change this skill to that one, and that way I can increase my infantry defense in terms of defending the castle. And then I will change the the raging flames level one because attack the first ten rows of the enemy army. Uh, Twenty percent change of change chance of activating this skill. I don't like these special skills so uh, most likely I will change them uh, when I unlock this one. So guys as you can see you have pretty cool buffs right now with the red dragon if you activate them. Don't forget if you are focusing on the defense part of your castle um, take some time to improve the, the um, the skills upgrade the skills using the dragon flames you have available another hint i can give you is save at least one of the the, the dragon flames you earn to trade if needed as you can see i have some 
some one one type of each dragon flame I, I'm keeping it and I'm only upgrading the the spare ones in this case I have lots of healing blessings so I, I will use them to upgrade some skill so red dragon for defense and right now black dragon it's a very good dragon for offensive um, reasons and you have the um, of course this don't make sense for an offensive dragon astral astral blessing i will switch the skill uh, as you can see i have here some skills that are already available for for this dragon but uh, as the red dragon i will i'm waiting for the dragon guardian to increase infantry defense uh, in this dragon uh, to, so i can hold some damage to kill more then you have the siege attack by one point with the war command i have the marching speed that i will change as well uh, switch the skill and then uh, an important one for ali the conqueror of the land um, it's already in level six uh, i have Sir, siege engine offensive attack by 17% and it can go to 25% it's very important and I will show you how in Castle these skills are already set perfectly so uh, then you have the Kraken it's another good dragon if you if you at least upgrade it to level 25 and right here you have the infantry attack in 5% Siege engine attacking 5%, archer attacking 5%, all units attack 2%, and cavalry attack 5%. If you unlock this to level 30, it's, it comes with very nice uh, skills already set with the beginning, and you only need to upgrade the skill in the dragon. Of course, there are the talents. If you are not familiar with this, uh, I will talk very briefly about the talents because. It's something, it's the special skills of the heroes that you can unlock in the skill section right here. Sorry, not here. If you come in the, the skill section right here in the book, you come to the dragon and appear all the special skills of each dragon uh, that you can unlock and upgrade in the talent section. Okay, in the black dragon, in the talent, you will need uh, dragon crystal in the color of your dragon to improve all these stats. Here you can improve 4% in 5 rounds if you activate these skills, um, the, these talents, and it will last for the rounds that are uh, explained. Right here all troops defend 4% if you activate this talent, uh, will last for 10 rounds, and as you can see I already upgraded the all troop defense, infantry defense, and you can use, because there's no black uh, crystal, you can use red or blue. In the others, for example, in the red, in the red dragon, you can use only the color you have available. It's the red dragon crystal. So make sure you use. Uh, in in my in my case, I use blue crystals to upgrade the, the black and the red to upgrade the red dragon. So guys, as you can see, this is it, and you can focus in the black on offensive if you all have it already have the crack and use it offensively and if you have the red dragon you will use it defensively now let's look a quick look up in Boo Castle and I will show you uh, how Boo set his dragons because he's doing this um, in a much earlier stage that, that I did so he, he, he's much more advanced okay let's go to to his dragon sorry guys something happened here okay guys sorry the game crashed i'm back and as you can see let's go uh, to Blue castle he have the black dragon in level 25 he have the kraken at level 30 as you can see already take care of of upgrading the red and he have the red dragon in level 25 he did not unlock the, the Waxia and Dragonborn civilization, so he have Yamato only, it's the Kraken, the Yamato Dragon. And let's start with the, the Red Dragon, he have the skill of troop attack, the troop defense, the hostile capacity and the archer defense. So it's his option to um, he switch in the, the, for defensive. I'm thinking using the, the infantry defense, he used the archer defense, he's already at 7%. Okay, now let's go to the 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 Kraken he already have in 
level 30, you have the Dragon Guardian, Archer Defense, you have the, the Dragon Guardian Infantry Defense, so Archer and Infantry Defense, you have the Archer Attack, you have the Sir Siege Engine Attack, and you have all units attack increased by 8%. As you can see, it's a very good dragon with all five skills unlocked and with pretty good boosts. You have right now the attack boost with all units attack, siege engine, archer attack, infantry defense, and archer defense. It's very cool. Um, this this dragon he use is using. So what he does, he activates the kraken in the wall, and probably use the black dragon to send in the march. And as you can see, you have Archer Defense right here. You have Siege uh, Engine Defense. Uh, you still have the Astral Blessing and the Conquer the Land that increase the Siege Engine Offense in 21%. So I think he really focused on the Kraken for our offensive purpose. This is a backup offensive dragon and he still uses the, the Red Dragon for defensive purposes. So guys, as you can see, this was it. Tell me in the comments the, another things you liked me to approach. Um, you liked to, to me to approach in these guidelines I'm making. As as I told you once a week, uh, I'm thinking in the weekend, Saturday and Sunday I will release part one and part two, and I will approach all these topics. If you don't like this, please share as well. Uh, if you are not enjoying these parts, I will cancel it. No problem with that. But if you enjoy it, don't forget to give your thumbs up on this video, share with your friends so they uh, can see uh, the experience I'm sharing and give their feedback as well. And guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.